What do you got? I seem to have stepped on a landmine. Why would you do something like that? So, uh, what you get? The lieutenant here seems to have found himself on top of an unexploded landmine. Why would you do that? You two have been spending way too much time together. The Monuments Men. Personally, I didn't care for it. It's one of those films where the cast is so star-studded, the makers hope you can forgive its weaker areas. I think the screenplay needed more work. The structure is ungainly and the dialogue is either too heavy-handed or simply not up to par with Clooney's previous efforts. And I think the actors are aware of that. To me, it almost always sounded like they were doing a read-through of, like, say, a spec script. And you don't even really get to know who any of these men really are. The screenplay seems more focused on preaching to the audience how proud these men are and striking an emotional chord that's rarely heard. Additionally, it features one of the worst team assembly montages I have ever seen. There were a few moments that resonated, but for the most part, I sat in my seat wondering how Clooney thought this was the best product he could deliver. I haven't seen all of his directorial efforts, but from the ones I have seen, I know he can direct and act in a film successfully. I'm very sad this did not turn out how I'd hoped it would, but it actually did have a small effect on me. Last semester, I took an art history course. Art history through the 15th century. And for me, when it comes to history, unless it is cinema history, good luck getting me to care. I passed the class with a C-, basically by the skin of my teeth. I badmouthed the class throughout the entire semester to my friends and family because I just... I couldn't stand it. I mean, I hated that it was a requirement. I mean, the teacher was great. The teacher I, I liked, okay, but the material and I just didn't get along at all. But anyways, there's a scene in this film where famous works of art are being burned. Among them is Picasso. I couldn't help but think during that scene, uh, what if those were films being burned, you know? Films that would never see the light of day again, never be seen by anyone ever, ever again. Um, good or bad, who cares? It's like, they'd never be seen again. Despite being underwhelmed by this film, I no longer house hatred for art history. Paintings, just like films, can be people's lives. I now know that. That being said, I give this film two out of five stars. Thank you very much for your time. Have an awesome day.